less point I was nervous was probably right before the second debate. I think uh, we knew the president didn't have a great first debate. We knew, you know, he'd hit it out of the park if he was on his game. And it wasn't after the first debate because our poll numbers actually didn't change. But leading up to the second debate, uh, there was some nervous tension saying, okay, is he going to nail this one or are we going to have to deal with another uh, uh, debate like the first one? That was probably the only point I was really nervous after about May uh, or April of 2012. I felt we had a pretty good uh, case to make and our, our basic architecture of the campaign was really solid. And I felt pretty confident, barring some external event. Uh, you got to remember, I'm seeing poll data, so I know there isn't any instant reaction that the press is latching onto and some of the commentators are latching onto, that we're pretty stable. Uh, I think in the first 72 to 96 hours, it's more about getting, the, you know, making sure the campaign stays focused on message. I'm working with the strategy team, David Axelrod and Stephanie Cutter and those folks to make sure we stayed on message and kept going right back to kind of home base for us. Uh, and that we uh, got our, our prep right the second time, because uh, I'm on the debate prep team as well, and making sure we did a better job in the prep and making sure we didn't leave any, you know, we really reduced our margin for error. And that was really what consumed us, other than, of course, being with the vice president and helping him prepare. Well, I think, um, I think we really went very, very deep into underlying attitudes and values uh, that really framed the decision-making context for the voters. We knew we were dealing with, uh, you know, economic numbers, basic political measures that all the pundits in 2011 were saying uh, were up against us and we were an underdog and couldn't win. Uh, what we did is we used our research and polling to really get beneath the surface and figure out, well, those numbers are all so bad and we're still leading in this race. What else is going on with the voters that's creating the context for us uh, to win this race. And we learned an awful lot doing some innovative things, both qualitatively and quantitatively, about how voters had viewed the crisis, uh, what their expectations were of any president at that moment in time, and really what their, their really powerful uh, values were that were carrying them forward towards a different economic vision in the future. And we had the freedom, the campaign both, both times in 2008 and now, uh, gave us the freedom to really experiment with some innovative ideas innovative questioning, um, and I think that really helped us, you know, work with a great communications team to build, as I say, this messaging architecture that gave us a lot of confidence in the spring uh, that we would win this election.